individuals. Sitting over there at the table is Maria Elena Rivera, Mira for short. <laughs> and um, she is with College of Colorado. So some of you may have College of Colorado accounts. Um, I see some of you um, have information about it. Feel free to go visit with her. And um, also on the table, there's some information, some brochures about additional allied health care programs. So, um, please go visit with her. She has some interesting things to say. Would you like to get up and say a few words? website was funded by the CHEO grant and it was intentionally for the purpose of creating a healthcare career marketplace uh, so that you can highlight your accomplishments and employers can readily see that and employers have a place where they can look to for talent. Um, as Linda was saying there is going to be an incredible need, an incredible demand for the healthcare industry. And so, um, you know, I applaud you for your efforts and studies and, um, and just for your diligence in working so hard. This is such an awesome site um, on this um, original page. Now, the CHEO grant, there's information here. Some of you are CHEO students and didn't know that. Um, the, there's some information there about CHEO and um, the intent. Here you have adult learner resources. And so we have resources listed by state because CHEO stands, C and CHEO stands for consortium. So we are a consortium of eight colleges across five states. Colorado is uh, most, mostly is well represented of those eight colleges, three are Colorado colleges. And there are resources here, which I encourage you, again, look at the site and see what um, may be there for you to take advantage of. Um, talk about online learning and online learning strategies, um, how to find financial aid assistance, and so on. And for those of you who do not know, my position is the CHEO career coach. I am available to help you. Please, please, please take advantage of my services. Um, I'm here to assist you with mock interviews, with uh, resume writing, cover letter writing, anything at all, helping with financial aid, helping you find resources for housing. I've, I've helped uh, direct people in different, uh, for different community resources that are out there. So if you need something, tutoring, anything, please come and see me. We also have here colleges and programs, and these are the um, colleges that are participating in the consortium. And so we have uh, all of the colleges are listed here. And for folks that are trying to find some colleges and different programs, that's very helpful. Career Pathways is um, another tool. If you know you're interested in healthcare, but you're not sure what services are, are available out there, you can take a look at all of these different programs and pathways. I'm going to log in as a student. 
so you can see what is available. So typically when you first register for the site, the first thing that will pop up on your home page are assessments. I've already completed those, but a lot of you will, will see that initially. And so I'll go to this assessments tab at the top. Now, many of you who are already in a program, obviously, <laughs> uh, many of you obviously will are, are pursuing a career. But this is a lifelong account for you. And so you may be interested six years down the line of changing your career and going, coming back to PCC for an, another degree or for advancing your skills. But maybe you don't know what you would like to do. So you can come to this page and you can take an assessment. There are three assessments offered. Can everybody see okay because I'm standing right here? Am I blocking books? Okay, so there are three um, assessments offered, the career interests, the skills, and work values. All of these assessments together take 20 minutes um, to complete. And so that's not, they're, they're, it's not a really long amount of time to just be able to assess where you're at. If we look under occupations, you can search occupations suggested by your assessment results. And what will come up, there are lists and lists of different careers that match up with your interests, with your skill level, and also um, your work values. And so they may be, those that have two or more X's will come up to the top. You can click on one of these and you, can, you have a description of the tasks and conditions applied to that particular career, and what educational experience you'll need, what skills are needed, and you can see the salary both at a national level and by state, and you can choose whatever state you want. You also see, which is very helpful, whoops, too far. You also see at the bottom just what the expected um, growth is for that particular for that particular career, and so you can see that at the bottom as well. And these figures are all um, generated by the Department of Labor. If you choose to look at occupations based on skills, you can do that as well. Obviously, some of you may be in the Rad Tech program or Health Information Technology, and you have a, a particular skill set that you would like to build upon. So you can, you can use that particular site to um, look at skills related to the profession you've already been studying. Over here, this is such a neat site. This job search, to, job search tools site, you can create a resume, and there are tips on how to do that. You can write a cover letter, and again, there are tips on how to do that as well. And you can call me and use me for that service as well. Please do. Um, and I think it really makes a huge difference when you actually talk to somebody face-to-face -face and, and have somebody give you some feedback, on, especially with those two areas. The other thing which is really awesome about this site, you have your collect references. Frequently, when you are applying for jobs or writing resumes and you need references, instead of having to call somebody every time you do that and get their contact information, you can have it stored here and you can just pull it up whenever you need it. That is, I, I cannot even begin to tell you how much time that ultimately saves in the process. 